Sometimes I look at my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend's Facebook page. It's more likely to happen when I'm hungry. I don't find anything I need there. Just photos of the two of them that span back to a time when my boyfriend didn't look like my boyfriend. The practice leaves me with various questions I don't feel I can ask directly. Has she always kept her Instagram private? How much did he love her? And when exactly did he lose his baby face? My last boyfriend slept with his ex early on in our relationship. When I found out, I became addicted to her Instagram. I would scroll back in her photos until I saw what she had posted of him. The heart emojis, the invasive candids, the drunk selfies. Once, I watched her story. Stories were new to Instagram at that time, and I didn't know that she would see the viewers. She immediately screenshotted my username and sent it to my ex. When my ex confronted me about it, embarrassed, he shouted, Get over it! I am! Then why did you like her photo last week? I shot back venomously. I was embarrassed too, but that didn't stop me. I kept visiting her page secretly, usually from the bathroom. Social media stalking is something that lots of people do, but which very few people talk about. That makes it difficult to verify the experience with an outside source. For me, stalking eventually has little to do with the person I'm observing. It's a self-referential gesture. It teases me into accepting the continuity of self that others present, even when I know how fragmented life actually is. And just as it makes me agonize over the lives I haven't lived, it makes me nostalgic for all the imperfect and precious moments that do make up my life.